Here we are, fishing on Crystal Lake. I'm pulling my sled. First time fishing out here this year. There's, hopefully you can see that. There's quite a few people out here. This would be the boathouse. That's the boathouse. It's no longer a boathouse, but I mean, you get it. So like where these guys are at is where the drop box at. It's probably at least 70 feet right there. Straight out to the deepest part of the lake. Those guys are probably quite deep. Not sure I'll pick bases here, but see guys with quads. Have to see what happens. Where's the shore? You don't have to walk right there. Right to there. All right, let's see what we get. Okay, I walked another 20 feet or so. I'm not going to set up your ice anchors. I like to dig my auger in and throw the rope around it. So if you have to leave the shanty and it blows away, it won't go very far. The wind's kind of coming out of this gush over here. There's not much snow on ice. So we have to improvise here. Just try to seal her up a little bit. That will help. I think you can almost see the bottom. It's 55 feet deep. According to the old Vexlar. I think we got our setup pretty nice. Got the outside kind of insulated. Best we could do. It's not much snow. Gotta keep setting her up. Thank <laughs> you. 
here's a quick preview of the shack. I got some LED switches here. I got my pecan spin wheels in case we're hungry later. I'm gonna drink. Got my gloves. Got my jacket hook. Got blue, white, red. The red's super nice over the hole here. Just a little bit. Once a little later, you can see quite good. Just a zapper. Insulated chain. That thing on low was gonna burn me out of here. There it is. Let me get my poles out. Let's we'll see what we can catch here. Here we're gonna give you a little tutorial on a vexlar. So this side here is the whole water column. And this side here you can adjust, but I'm on the bottom 12 feet, so from here to here is about 12 feet. So I got two jigs down there. I'll move one. So if you see this one, this is my jig. You can see it moving. I'm jigging it. I'm gonna reel it up just a little bit. Just so you can see what's happening. If you can see, here's a fish going up to where I just jigged at. So my jig's kind of high. So I got this other jig here. So this is a fish, this is a fish, this is a fish. So if I, as you can see my jig's about right here. This is a fish. I just caught a fish. You can see my fish coming up here. You can see all these fish going wild here. Here's that fish, bigger one. There's what I just caught. Small perch. So, if you see how big those little marks are, you know, like the greenish, yellowish, not a big fish would be several bars of red. So you can see my jig coming down here. Kind of lost it there, but it's just because it went a little too far out as it was drifting down. So here's my jig again. So I'm going to do a little, turn up the gain a little bit. So you can see a fish immediately coming up to it. I caught that fish that just came up to it. Again, he's not very big. You can kind of see there's quite a few more fish down there, so, you know, judging by their mark, they're probably about the same size. So here's my jig going down again. Here's, here's a fish probably right here, so I'm just going to stop right about where the fish is at. See, he's still swimming down. So you got my jig there. There's no fish by it. So I'm just going to go down a little closer to the bottom. You can see this is a fish here. He's like, hey, oh, there's another one. He's coming in hot. You see, this fish is probably a little bigger. These are small. This little thing up here is a tiny little bastard. So I want one of these back here. I'm going to drop it back down there bad thing those bigger fish are probably a little slower than the small fish sometimes when more than one fish is in one spot you know that's that's not a big fish that's several small fish see then we can my jigs here at the top I'm gonna jig up a little bit and these fish are, he's following me up. So, like I said, up here is about 12 feet. So, he came, he came up off the, oop, this one. Coming in hot. This little guy is coming in hot. Oh, he's going back down. He didn't like it. Nope, he freaking took off. That might be a bigger fish. Doubt it.
Jeez. Here's my bait again. Oh, he's taking off. Scared him away. Back down we go. Oh, scared him all off. This is my other jig up here still. You can see that. This is me jigging down here. Oh. Coming up. Oh. I didn't catch them, but I had to guess. They probably have. Oh, I say I thought they took my little my bait off. It's still there. There's my jig again. Oh. And that's. The refresh rate is almost real time. You can see he got off. As you can see. Oh, there it is. Little Haley's jig. Little red spike. I'm gonna shoot her back down there. Here's my jig again. Let me show you this real quick. So that's 12 foot. So this is now 6 feet. As you can see my lures up here. You can see them coming. And the 6 foot is zoomed more, so it's going to make these fish look bigger than they were before. I'll go for the. Oh, I got one. Doesn't feel very big. So I'll turn this, I'll turn that off. So if you look, you can see this. Here's like your depth selector. You can see that I'm on the red one. So you can see how deep I'm in. So on the red selector, follow the red line around about 35 feet. You can see that fish I just released swimming back down. There's my lure going back down. So this is a full depth. Here's a fish coming up. I can drop it right to him. Give me reel on that fish up. Yeah, oh, so you can see that he's almost to the top. And there it is. Small perch. Again. Judging by the size of those marks that are down here now, that's pretty much what all those fish are. There's fish down there, small ones. There's one, small size.
brought minnows for bait that are bigger than that. Melt are bigger than that here. What kind of fish down there? that. Ooh, biggest one yet. 